2020 hit and it changed the way we think about living, but also what we value. And I thought that water should change along with that kind of societal shift. We don't have time to fight water wars. It's not about a, a famine or flood or who gets what amount of water. It really is about valuing healthy, natural ecosystems because that is the way we're going to be able to move forward. My name is Ashley Overhouse and I'm the Resilient Rivers Director at Friends of the River. And what that means is I assist Ron Stork with the policy analysis and advocacy at Friends of the River. We have been working to save California's rivers since 1973, which is, you know, getting close to half a century. FOR is California's statewide river conservation organization. After the loss of uh, the Stanislaus River, not a single major dam has been built in California. Significant wins and protections for California's rivers include the McLeod, Yuba, um, as well as the Scott Rivers. But we also had the, the huge battle over what would happen to 50 miles of the American River that was threatened by the giant um, proposed Auburn Dam. All right, so behind me is where Auburn Dam would have actually been built. There's a scar where you can see where they actually carved out of the mountain where the rim of the dam would have been. The climate crisis is a water crisis for our state and for most of the West. Friends of the River needs to respond in, in a real way um, to make sure that we are the leader in the room. For the past 100 years, the state of California and most of the American West has prioritized corporate interests over the human right to water. This needs to change, needs to change today. Additional work that Friends of the River engages in is advocating for resilient water solutions at both a policy level as well as through collaborations and specific technical and legal analysis. I think that going to the heart of our state is always a little nerve-wracking just because the power of the people that are in this building and the power they hold for our rivers. I have hope for a future generation that is able to make a difference because these legislators represent us. And I know that we're not alone in advocating and prioritizing our rivers. We need the legal resources to be able to prevail in these struggles that really matter. We need the citizenry of California to get involved, to contribute, to fund our efforts to help protect California's rivers. Friends of the River needs your support today. Your donation will help our organization remain in the fight to save rivers and help with future generations in their fight for resilient rivers.